Hi guys, you're welcome to MJ Apparel Tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful bustier with a keyhole yoke. So if this looks like what you really wish to learn, please watch till the end. I'll also be dropping a detailed tutorial on how to make this beautiful peplum in the next tutorial. So if today is your first time on this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. And also don't forget to like, share and drop a comment. So first I'll go ahead to draft on my pattern paper. The first thing I'll be doing is to draw a straight horizontal line on the top of my paper this way then I'll go ahead to insert my vertical measurement which is the shoulder to the bust point shoulder to the under bust and shoulder to the half length after marking this point I'll go ahead to draw a straight horizontal line like you see me doing in the video So after marking the horizontal line, I'll label this part as the bust point. This part is the under bust and here is the half length. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my shoulder measurement on the shoulder line here. So I'll be marking my shoulder divided by 2 at this point. Then I'll come to this part and come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Then I'll insert the armhole depth. After marking it, I'll connect this point together using a straight line like this. Then I'll go ahead to mark my chest length. So this part here is going to be the chest line. The next thing I'll be doing is to take out the dart and in doing that I'll be marking half of the nipple to nipple measurement on the half length line and also on the bust point line after marking I'll connect the two points together with my ruler like this so next I'll go ahead to take out the dart and I'll be using 2 inch for the dart I'll be marking 0.5 inch on the center part and 1.5 inch on this other side so I'll go ahead to mark the 0.5 inch on the half length line and on the under bust line then on the side I'll be marking 1.5 inch on the half length line and on the under bust line also after marking I'll connect the point together with my ruler like you see me doing in the video so next thing I'll be doing is to draw the contour for the bust and in doing that I'll be coming down by 1 inch on the bust point line this way then I'll connect to the under bust using my ruler like this. So after connecting this point, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to measure what I have between the bust point and the under bust. So what I have here is 3.5 inch. I'm going to be taking it upward this way and mark. After marking, I'll go ahead to extend my nipple to nipple line this way. The next, I'll go ahead to tighten the overbust and in doing that, I'm going to be marking 0.75 inch on both sides like you see me doing in the video. After marking the two points, I'll go ahead to connect it to my bust point using my ruler like this. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my bust measurement on the chest line. So I'll go ahead to mark my bust divided by 4 on the chest line this way. The next I'll measure what I have on this dart area and I'll replace it on the side also. After marking this, I'll go to the waist area and I'll insert my waist divided by 4 on the waist area. And I'll go ahead to also measure what I have on the dart area and replace it on the side this way. After doing that, I'll go ahead to connect the bust, the chest line to the waist using my ruler like you see me doing in the video so the next i'm going to go ahead to do is to draw my armhole and in doing that i'll be dividing what i have on my armhole depth by two and i'll be going in by 0.5 inch this way next i'll connect with my ruler this way this is for the front armhole So after drawing the armhole, this is what it should look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to draw the sweetheart neckline for the yoke. And in doing that, I'm going to be coming up by 0.5 inch from the chest line. You can decide to go up or come down depending on how revealing you want the yoke to be. But for me, I'll be coming up by 0.5 inch after which I'll connect to this dart leg using the curve part of my ruler this way then I'll go ahead to connect the second dart leg to the armhole area this way after which I'll go ahead to close up the dart also so 
so this is what the sweetheart yoke is going to look like the next i'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my neck width so i'm going to be using a neck width of 3.5 inch and a neck depth of 3.5 inch also so i'll go ahead to draw a simple round neck with my ruler like you see me doing in the video after which i'll draw the shoulder slope like this so the next thing to do is to determine the placement of the keyhole so this totally depends on how open you want the keyhole to be but for me i'm going to be coming down by six inch from the shoulder line this way and mark next you determine the placement on the side you can decide to connect it to any area on this armhole part but for me i'm going to be connecting it to the second that leg i have on the yoke so i'm going to be placing my ruler this way then i'll go ahead to draw the keyhole like you see me doing in the video this is so simple so it depends on how open you want it to be so the choice is yours to make after connecting it this is what it is going to look like so this part here is going to serve as the yoke the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to mark my swing allowance of 1.5 inch on the chest line and also on the half length line after marking i would connect the point together using a straight line after which i'll go ahead to cut it out So after cutting this is what it is going to look like the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to draft the back so yeah i have my paper for the back the first thing to do is to draw the shoulder line after drawing the shoulder line i'll go ahead to mark my zipper allowance of 1.5 inch all the way down after marking i'll go ahead to draw a straight vertical line like you see me doing in the video so the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my vertical measurement which is the shoulder to the boss point and the shoulder to the half length after marking it i'll draw a straight horizontal line like this next i'll go ahead to insert my shoulder measurement so i'll be marking half of the shoulder measurement on this part starting from the red zipper allowance stop i'll mark my shoulder divided by two then i'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope after coming down by one inch for the shoulder slope i'll insert my armhole depth then i'll connect with my ruler like this so next i'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my boss divided by four on the chest line plus my sewing allowance then on the waistline i'll also insert the waist divided by four plus one inch for that and 1.5 inch for sewing allowance after which i'll connect the side together with a straight line like this the next i'll be doing is to draw the back armhole after drawing the back armhole, I'll go ahead to insert the waist that on the waistline and I'll be marking half of the nipple to nipple measurement on the half length line and also on the chest line. After marking, I'll connect using my ruler like this. Then I'll go ahead to mark 0.5 inch on both sides for the darts. After marking 0.5 inch, I'll connect to my chest line with my ruler this way. So the back is just a normal basic body with a waist that it is so simple. Next thing to do is to draw the neckline. So you can draw whatever neckline you want, but make sure the neck width for the front and the back is the same. But the neck depth is totally your choice to make. So I'm going to go ahead to draw a simple neckline like you see me doing in the video. After drawing the neckline, I'll go ahead to draw the shoulder loop after which i'll go ahead to cut it out So after cutting this is what the back is going to look like the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to cut my fabric using the pattern that was drafted so yeah, I've gone ahead to cut my fabric and I went ahead to add 0.5 inch sewing allowance on this area and on the yoke I added to this part of the yoke and also to the neckline and to the shoulder. The next I'm going to go ahead to do is to pad the bust here using my wadding. So I'm going ahead to attach my ST and wadding to the bust here and this is what it's going to look like after doing that. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to join the center to the side this way. So when joining, you're going to be placing it this way. Then you start sewing from the lower part down to the top. And I'll also go ahead to do the same thing for the lining also. 
When sewing the bust here, you are going to be placing it this way, making sure the good face is facing each other. Then you start sewing from the lower part down to the top. So just watch what I'm doing and follow the same process. After sewing, I'll go ahead to notch it and also iron in between the seam. And when ironing in between the seam, you don't iron on a flat surface, you iron using your tailor's hand. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So just watch what I'm doing and follow the same process. So after sewing and ironing, this is what it is going to look like. As you can see, the curves came out very well. And this is what the inner part is going to look like. So you don't iron on a flat surface. If you do, you will end up losing the curves. So this is what you should have after doing that. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to work on the yoke of the bustier we are making. So here I have my yoke. I went ahead to cut the yoke and the lining together. And I added the sewing allowance we needed. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to quickly finish up the neckline of the yoke and also the shoulder line so i'm going to be placing it this way then i'll place my lining on it after which i'll finish up the neckline and this part after doing that i'll turn it over give it a good press then i'll come back to show you the what to do next after sewing the neckline and the chest area, this is what it is going to look like. And this is what the inner part of it is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to attach my lining to the bust here. So here I have also gone ahead to join the center to the side of the lining. I'm going to be placing my lining on it this way, making sure the good face is facing the good face of the bust here. Then I'll go over my sewing machine to finish up the neckline. So I'm going to go ahead to sew the neckline, make sure they align before sewing. After sewing the neckline, and I'll also close up the side, turn it over to the good face, give it a good press, then I'll come back to show you what to do next. So I'm going ahead to attach the lining to the bustier and this is what we have. Make sure that it's looking very neat and the lining aligned to the bustier properly. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to attach the yoke to the bustier and in doing that I'm going to be placing it this way. So the first thing you should do is to locate the midpoint then you place it making sure the midpoint align. So after placing it you also take note of the parts where the yoke the keyhole is going to be starting from so mine is where the center meets the side panel so i'm going to be placing it this way i'll place the yoke on it this way then i'll go over my sewing machine to top stitch the yoke on the main bodies when stop stitching don't stop stitch more than 0.25 so i'll quickly do that then i'll come back to show you what it looks like after attaching the yoke to the main body, this is what it is going to look like and this is what the keyhole looks like. So if you want a bigger keyhole, you can make a bigger curve on this part. And also when attaching your yoke to the main body, you should use a matching thread so that after sewing, the stitch doesn't show. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to show you the back. So here I have the back. I've gone ahead to finish up the neckline and the side. I also changed the neckline. While drafting, I used a high neck but I made I made the depth of the neck a little bit deeper this is what we have next i'm going to go ahead to attach the front to the back so i'll close up the shoulder and also the side i'm making a peplum blouse and i've also gone ahead to make the 720 degree flay i'll be attaching it to it after which i'll show you the final look of the blouse so after sewing it, this is what it's going to look like. As you can see, it's looking so beautiful and the bustier came out very well. So if you follow the same process I used, you are going to come out with the same outcome. And I'll also be dropping a little tutorial on how I made this peplum on the channel next. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button. And also don't forget to like, share and drop a comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.